Well, as you said, Delano, the death of Ambassador Luca Atanasio has now been confirmed by the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, it was uh, confirmed earlier by local authorities in North Kivu in the um, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Details are still uh, trickling in. What we know is that um, a World Food Programme convoy was ambushed at around 10.15 uh, this morning, um, some 10 kilometres from uh, Goma in Niragongo territory in uh, North Kivu. The Italian ambassador was part of that convoy. He was wounded and later died of his injuries. And so uh, have so did his Congolese driver and also his bodyguard, uh, who is uh, himself also an Italian uh, national. Uh, it's not clear, though, uh, who is behind this attack. And Clement, the security situation has been worsening in the DRC in recent weeks. Talk us, uh, tell us about some of the groups operating in this specific area of the country. That's right. Well, we know that uh, this uh, attack this morning took place near the Virunga National Park, which is an area where many armed groups are uh, said to be active. According to the Kivu Security Centre, an NGO uh, that monitors attacks in the region, there are four armed groups uh, active in this particular area, including the FDLR, FDLR FOCA and ex-members of the M23. Now, also, according to Congolese media citing local sources, uh, this uh, attack took place where two British tourists were kidnapped by uh, armed men back in May 2018. So this region definitely has a history of violent attacks. Uh, with the presence of several armed groups. But once again, it's too early to say uh, who was behind today's attack. Clemo, thank you very much for that. Clemo Bonneho reporting there from Kinshasa.